Hey foodies, thanks for watching. Today we're gonna make a chicken stew. This is one of the first entrees that I'm gonna be making on camera and I'm really excited. So let's start by looking at the recipe. We're gonna get a lot of practice using our knife and getting our knife skills going. I'm gonna start by chopping everything up. You can use a food processor, but I like the feel and the taste of hand-chopped vegetables. So here we go. So there we go, I've got everything chopped up. I put my potatoes, sweet potatoes and carrots all in one bowl because they're all of similar densities. I've got my celery and my green onions. Now you can also use just regular onions and that's fine. And I've got my chicken and you can use turkey if you want. So I'm gonna get my stove heating up and I'm gonna start by putting a fat into the pot. The fat can be butter, it can be oil, or I made up some chicken stock, and this is just a little bit of the leftover chicken fat that was left over, and I figure it's a chicken stew, why not? Ah, why not? Put it all in. The key is to have your, your pot really, really hot so that when you add your ingredients, it sears them and sears in all that flavor and juice. And you can hear the sizzle. That's a great sound. I'm gonna start by stirring off my chicken. So at this point, you can see the chicken is getting cooked, which is nice, and we're gonna start adding some herbs and spices. So I'm gonna add a bit of thyme. I'm gonna add my rosemary. Oh, love the smell of fresh rosemary. I'm going to put in two bay leaves, one, there's two, I'm going to put in my garlic, I'm using a garlic scape casto, you can use regular garlic though, and a generous helping of salt just to bring out the juices. And don't forget pepper. Now that the chicken is close to getting cooked, I'm gonna add my harder vegetables. I've given that a stir, I'm going to add my stock. And I think it could use a little bit more stock. That looks about right. You want to bring it up just to the level of the vegetables and the meat. And now I'm going to add my celery and my onions. And I'm just gonna let the celery and the onions sit at the top of the pot 
I'm going to cover it and just let it cook down and stew for a bit. So it's been about 20 minutes. I want to go look at this. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells amazing. And look at that. It's cooking right down really nicely. So it looks like all of the vegetables are fully cooked. The meat is obviously cooked at this point. So I'm going to pull out my two bay leaves. There's one. There's two. And now it's time for us to thicken this. So I've got some of our Frankie's all-purpose flour and some water. And I'm going to start with about a quarter cup of flour. You can always add thickness to your stew, but you can't take it out. Now I'm using an all-purpose flour, the Frankie's all-purpose flour, and that's going to give it a more stew-like consistency. You can use cornstarch, but it's going to make it a bit gloopier, more like um, a jelly. And so I kind of want it to have that, that stew-like look. And I've added water to my mix here and the flour, because if I just poured the flour in, I would get something that would resemble a bit more like dumplings. And I'm not really looking for dumplings in this case. I'm looking for a thickening agent. And the water, this little amount of water is not going to make that big of a difference in the stew. And it will be amazing when you see the transformation of this, when, how it thickens up, you'll be... It, it, it's amazing to watch. So I'm just getting rid of all the lumps. Splashing about. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to pour it in. And I'm going to stir it up. Mm. I'm going to turn the heat back up. And already you can see the, the stock is thickening up, and that's only just been a few seconds. And remember, when, it's, when it cools, it's going to get even thicker, so you don't really want to have it too thick. For those of you that are wondering, this is a, about three and a half liters of, of stew. So I put a quarter cup for about three and a half liters of stew. Oh, look at this. This looks amazing. Oh. And it smells even better. So I'm going to call that done. Let's get ourselves a nice bowl and serve ourselves up. It's a great treat to have something like this on a cooler day where you can just warm up and curl up on the couch and just enjoy a nice hot bowl of stew. Thanks for watching. I look forward to reading all of your comments below. Have a great day.